So I just wanted to talk quickly about insaye. Insaye is the Icelandic word for intuition. And I've done another I did another video on, on uh, intuition a while back. But this is interesting because uh, insaye really has three meanings. And the first one is the sea within. S-E-A, like the ocean, the sea within, which is our borderless nature. It's beyond words, it's beyond boxes, it's, um, it's infinite, it's boundless. And the second meaning is to see within. So it's to know yourself, and it's also to have empathy for other selves. And the third meaning is is to see from the inside out. So, in other words, to have a strong inner compass with which to navigate the world, the external world. So it's from the inside out. And um, intuition has been called an unconscious form of, Im of immediate knowledge. So in other words, it's not based on any previous learning or um, experiences like that. Although it can, that can be incorporated, but it's not based on that. It, and it's immediate. It's an immediate knowing. It's an immediate knowingness. Albert Einstein uh, said about intuition, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. The rational mind is... Um, the, le the left brain hemisphere. And he said, we have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. And he said that quite a while ago. And so, you know, since then, our world has gotten even more noisier and loud. And there's all sorts of distractions almost constantly, 24-7. And we're just bombarded with this, this um, overwhelming input, you know, constantly, and data and everything else, and and so our worlds are really noisy. Our external worlds are really noisy, and most people's internal world is quite noisy as well. And so, really, the key to um, getting back in touch with our intuition because I believe it's something that we're born with it's intrinsic we but it's just that most people are um, too busy or preoccupied or distracted to notice and certainly to listen to it um, I've always thought of it as the still small voice within which is a little misleading because the still small voice within is probably the most powerful thing ever um, and it's, it's been a true and faithful servant to me. I mean, I trust my intuition more than I trust anything I can pick up with my other senses. And so I follow it, um, faithfully. I trust it so much. It's never led me astray. So I think that the, um, some ways we can get back in touch with our intuition, um, or certainly tune into it because it's always there. So tune into it more um, is to get simply get quiet. So to get quiet literally and figuratively, internally and externally, and um, that could mean just sitting, sitting still, and being quiet. Whether it's you can do it anywhere really. Um, sitting still in nature is good. Uh, walking quietly in nature and just um, being with it really so you know it can be a, you can be you can be a meditation if you want it doesn't have to be so just sitting silently and still and you can follow the breath not try to control it just follow it observe it or you can intentionally and mindfully do some slow deep breathing and really just tune in tune into the body tune into the silence 
And so what we're doing when we get quiet is we are creating a space to allow intuition to speak to us and to flow through us. And um, that's really all I wanted to share with you right now. So insight is the Icelandic word for intuition and actually um, there's a new documentary that came out recently and it's on Netflix now. So if you guys want to check that out, um, it's pretty good. And until next time, peace and blessings.